a total of six dives in four rounds of dives. Their first two dives are both individual three-meter dives, one by a female diver and one by a male diver, uh, and will be performed back-to-back -back in the first round. After that, the second round will show us the three-meter synchro mix synchro dive. Uh, and uh, for the remaining two rounds, then the event will move uh, to the 10 meter platform. As for the first two rounds, we'll see the individual dives first and the synchro to end the competition. Here we have the first diver of the competition on the springboard is European champion Chiara Pellacani. She won last year with Team Italy. She's going to perform uh, an inward two and a half somersault pike. Oh, great way to start this championship. This is a great push off the board. She gets really fast in her pike position and uh, ends up in the water completely vertical. Good, good performance by her. Seven, seven and a half from the judges. Good, great dive for, from the Italian diver. Total of 64.5 points. Next up is her teammate, Lorenzo Marzaglia, for the second individual dive of Team Italy. A very hard dive, reverse three and a half somersault tuck. Good hurdle. And very good dive overall. The entry could have been a little bit cleaner. I gotta say, it splashed a little bit too much, but very nice stop he squeezes his tuck position very much to get all the way around and it pulls a little bit too hard back with his shoulders in this particular moment when it comes out and it goes a little bit over but 61 point 25 points for him tim norway now we have um, we have Caroline Kupka performing an inward two and a half somersault attack, 2.7 degree of difficulty. It's the same dive that the Italian Chiara Velacani did before, but in a different position. She did a good job overall, a little bit pushed uh, off the board a little bit too far back so it doesn't get as high as she wanted but manages anyways to land fairly vertical on the water just yeah it is uh, just a little bit low probably the scores aren't gonna be very high let's see what the judges think yeah sixes from the judges and a, a five and a half and a six and a half. I want to remind you that for individual competitions and individual dives, the top two scores and the lower two are are not used to as and counted for the total. Just the average three judges scores are added together and multiplied by the degree of difficulty. We saw Caroline's teammate Isaac performing it. Uh, front three and a half somersault pike and we saw him struggling a little bit to get in that pike position not very clean in the air but still gets on his head fairly vertical probably fives five and a half from the judges what let's see what they think yeah a couple of sixes too so yeah could have done a little bit better but it's never Never easy to to approach an event on the first dive. There's a lot of emotions. 
going on, but they did a good job. Team Spain up now with Valeria Antolino, the diver born in Venezuela and diving for Spain since uh, she was 14 in uh, 2016. She moved to Spain and now stayed there. Dives for the club team of Real Canoe. Nice reverse two and a half somersault tuck. As uh, as Valeria, the whole the whole team uh, from Spain is from the same club team, the Real Canoe, all diving in Madrid together. Six is for Valeria from the judges. Does a good job, just like the Italian diver Lorenzo, which was doing the same rotation, the reverse rotation. She pulls too far back with her shoulders on the entry and goes slightly over, but does an okay job overall and uh, puts Spain uh, ahead of Norway at the moment, but we got to see Alberto Arevalo Alcon doing a front four and a half somersault tuck, very hard dive. Uh, nice job, nice job. He struggled a little bit on the hurdle, on the approach to the tip of the board, and uh, he, he left the board, it was quite behind on the board but still gets very high and uh, very fast in the his, his spins very very fast and uh, even though he did his best the dive ends up being short for sixes uh, not bad not too bad and uh, Spain is in second behind Italy at the moment we have uh, Xenia Bailo on the board right now inward two and a half somersault tuck 2.7 degree of difficulty oh, nice entry very clean in the entry um, doesn't get very very high but it's, she is definitely the cleanest entry we have seen so far she got the best entry Nice kick out of the tuck position. We see not many splashes coming out of the water when she enters. Good job from the young Ukrainian diver. And Danilo Konovalov now. Reverse three and a half somersault tuck. Very strong young diver from Ukraine. Nice dive. Nice dive. Uh, just like Lorenzo Marzaglia from the first team, the Italian team, he does not get a perfect entry. Splashes a little bit too much. It goes very high. We can see how he squeezes that tuck position. Very good job. Six and a half from, uh, from the judges, even an eight from judge number five. Team Ukraine gets in first position at the moment at, with 129 points. And Team Armenia is already on the board with Aliza Zakarian. Reverse two and a half somersault tuck. No, that, that, that is not the right dive she wanted to do. She did, she got the worst possible position on her hurdle. And unfortunately for her, the dive is failed so the judges do not award her any score because the the referee um, decided it's failed that she touched with her feet first and now her teammate has to do a reverse one and a half somersault three and a half twist trying to get back on track for this competition and also Vladimir Aratunian uh, struggles with his first dive. Uh, the hurdle was good, but we can see from the replay how he gets in the twist a little bit too early. That causes um, that causes the dive to go over and over rotate both on the somersault and in the twist. So, well, not the way they wanted to start the Armenian divers with only 49 points. They are in uh, fifth place at the moment. We have three, Team Greece now up. Teofilos Aftinos 
He's going to perform a front three and a half somersault pike, 3.1 degree of difficulty. Greece did not compete last year in this event. They added two young divers, the female divers, to the team. And now this year they are in contention for medals in this final. Teofilo does, does a good job with his dive. Seven, seven and a half from the judges. Uh, very nice pike position, very squeezed. And the dive is not very fast. It goes high and clean in the position and in the entry, but it's a little bit slow in the rotation. But seven, seven and a half, it's a good job for his first dive. His, team, his teammate, Stravula uh, Chamelu. Inward two and a half somersault tuck. Good top. Same as her teammate, Chamelia uh, Stravula as well. She's a little bit slow uh, spinning in her somersault and uh, doesn't get all the way vertical finishes the dive quite low it's probably fives from the judges let's say but she's very very young born in 2006 she's 16 years old uh, she's going to turn 17 in two months in august and uh, it's a good experience for her first experience at europeans There's a little delay from uh, from the judges to get the scores. While we see Juliette Landy, the French diver, on the board. Waiting for her turn to go. Well, while we are waiting for uh, to see what's the outcome of this dive, I can tell you that this year European Championship, it's um, this year the continent best divers will compete to secure places for their respective countries at the Par Paris Olympic Games next year. There will be four spots, four birds up for grab for uh, Paris to the respective female and male winners of the individual three meter and platform disciplines. So those are the first uh, spots for the Olympics um, that will be ended out. So Greece got a failed dive. Honestly, I did not understand why she, she did perform the dive that was listed. We'll see what we'll get, what info we get from DAC, and we'll see later. But now we already have uh, Juliette Landy, inward two and a half somersault tuck for the French dive. Nice dive, nice dive. Again, another dive that doesn't get very explosive uh, off the board. It's a little bit low. We saw her going, grab her legs a little bit too early before she gets all the push off the board but manages to get vertical sixes from the judges, a total of 47.25 points for Juliet, Very young, talented diver, just 16 years old, also the French diver. Her teammate, Jules Bouillard, former junior world champion on the one meter springboard, is doing a front three and a half summers of pike. Very strong off the board. Unfortunately for him, though, I've got to say his upper body was leaning a little bit too far forward off the board. We can see here it doesn't reach all the way up with his arms. So this uh, puts the dive a little bit too far 
away from this springboard. Nice entry, vertical. Probably sevens, I'd say. Yeah, seven and a half. The, the judges do not deduct too many points because of the distance from the board. So seven and a half, even an eight is not counted. 69 points, point 75 for him. France at this point should be in uh, third place. And Team Germany now is up on the board. Lena Enschel, bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Tokyo in synchro with Tina Punzel now on the board performing reverse two and a half summers of pipe. And this is a big mistake for one of the teams that really was aiming for gold. And this is not the best way to start this team event. Force from the judges, Lena ends up way too far over. It was a good top. It was a good top, I guess, in the air. She did not. Her knees were a little bit bent off the board, but then at, on the come out, she just waits way too long and goes over. You gotta say that Team Germany has some very, very difficult dives later on in the competition. So, like, for example, this one where Moritz Baseman is competing front three and a half, uh, four and a half somersault tuck and does a fantastic job with it. This dive has the highest degree of difficulty of the competition 3.8 so he can make up some of the points that his teammate lost on the reverse nice nice job by Moritz 7.5 8.8 from the judges 89.30 points the higher scoring dive so far in the competition 125.30 points Germany is in third right behind Italy Good job by Moritz. And we have Team Great Britain on the board with the Jarnet now. Front two and a half somersault, full twist in a pike position. Oh, struggle with the hurdle. Oh, wow. Big struggle with the hurdle for the British lady. She was, we can see from the replay, she was all the way to the left side. Half of her left foot was tipping off the board and uh, still manages to get enough strength to get a vertical and actually even over but even loses her feet in the entry uh, not great four and a half five 42 points for the british diver let's see ben cutmore benjamin is doing a reverse three and a half somersault tuck 3.5 degree of difficulty hopefully for him he gets a better hurdle than his teammate Good top. Good top, slightly short in the entry. He, ben is uh, mainly a platform diver. We saw him getting bronze medal last year in Rome at the 2022 European Championship on the platform individual event. Sixes for him, five and a half sixes for him, 61 points. Leaves Great Britain a little bit too far back in these first two dives with 103 points total so after the first round of dives we have Ukraine, Italy, Germany Spain, France Great Britain, Norway and Greece and last place is for Armenia in this moment we saw already two failed dives in the first two, in the first round in the first two individual 3 meter events now, second round of dives, all teams will perform a mixed synchro three meter dive. We see ready on the board Team Italy with Chiara Pellacani and Edward Timbretti Guju. Here we are, everything is ready. The divers are ready. Last year, these two divers got a gold medal in Rome, but did not perform the mixed synchro three-meter dive uh, because they, Italy changed one diver. They added Lorenzo Marsaglia instead of uh, Andreas Larsen. And so they changed a little bit 
the, the dives are exactly the same as last year, but the people competing them, they switch a little bit. Let's see how they do. They're back to an half somersault pike. Nice dive. Nice dive by the Italians who do not have uh, much experience as a synchro uh, team in this case. Chiara is a little bit lower than uh, Edward, uh, but synchro wise is almost perfect. Seven and a half, sevens for them, 64, 50 total. Very good job, and we see how happy they are with her. their dive. Nice dive. Big smiles all around for Team Italy. They are at 190.25 total points. Team Norway now. We have Isaac and Caroline. Front two and a half somersault, full twist. Good synchro on the hurdle. And great synchro overall. I gotta say the timing in the push off the board and the come out of the somersault is uh, very, very good. It's very they timed it perfectly together. We can see from the slow motion coming out. But again, uh, it's common how the female diver in the mixed synchro has the tendency to be a little bit lower. Uh, but Team Norway does a good job. 155.15 15 total points for Team Norway. We have Rocio. Velasquez and uh, Carlos Camacho on the board for uh, Team Spain inward two and a half somersault pike. Rocho is a veteran diver, has done a lot of European Championship, and Carlos is a uh, Carlos is the son of uh, former Spanish diver Ricardo, who was finalist in Moscow in 1980. And they do a great job with their inward two and a half somersault pike. Uh, Carlos get a perfect entry on it. And we hear uh, seven, seven and a half from the judges. 67.50 points for them. Very, very good job. Uh, impressive uh, performance by the Spanish divers. Very good. We see Arturo Miranda and Domenico Rinaldi, their coaches, very, very happy about their, their athletes. Here is, we can see on screen, Anna Pismenska, one of the veterans here. She has been around the diving world for a, for a long time. And uh, with her is Oleksii Sereda, former European champion. Wonder kid of Ukraine. They do a fantastic job with their back two and a half somersault pike. Very nice jump off the board, perfectly timed in the synchronization. We see how they spin at the right time. Oleksi comes out, we can see from this replay, comes out a little bit earlier because spins much faster, but judges award them straight eights and 72 points is a high scoring dive for the mixed synchro. They jump ahead of everyone, uh, 11 points ahead of Italy with 201 points. Team Ukraine is doing a fantastic job so far. Team Armenia now. Aliza and um, Arman. Aliza is the youngest diver in this event, born in September 2007. Inward two and a half somersault tuck. Overall, an okay job. Uh, they're not perfectly synchronized. Uh, Aliza is uh, Aliza is a little bit lower and jumps. We can see from the replay way too far to the left of the board. This happens on inward dives. Uh, there's a tendency in young divers to protect themselves and jump slightly to the left because they fear to be too close to the board. So they have this tendency, but it's, uh, it's uh, not well seen by the judges, obviously, and they deduct points for that. Team Greece up. We have uh, Chalamu Stravula and uh, Grigorios Mitru. A back to and a half somersault tuck for the young Greek team. A good dive. Um, uh, 
the lady uh, Sarula is uh, way too low unfortunately for her and doesn't manage to get all the way, way vertical we saw from the replay how she barely gets her hands above her head to line up and splashes a little bit too much but I gotta say I like how Team Grease is uh, there hugs and smiles all around it's good experience for them very young they have a long road ahead to gain experience and get great results in the future Jules and uh, Jules and uh, Juliet on the board for three, Team France right now back to and a half summer attack same dive as the previous team and uh, this is not very well synchronized they do a good job individually, um, but we saw how Jules is much, much higher, and even the somersault is not timed very well. So five and a half from the judges, 42.20 points for Team France. And uh, they will they end up at 163 points, a little bit too far back for medal contention so far. Let's see if Team Germany with Lena and Moritz, let's see how they do front two and a half summers of full twist. And, and I gotta say, compared to the first dive, Lena does a fantastic job. Great synchro, great individual dives. Very well synchronized. We see from the replay how they're always together throughout the dives. The only thing I could say about this dive is Morris could have done a little bit better job getting all the way straight in the entry, but 66 points for Team, Great, uh, for team Germany is very good, and they are in second place at the moment, right in front of Team Italy with 191.3. Last team up for this second round of dives is Team Great Britain, Ben, and the Journey. Back two and a half somersault pike. 3.0 degree of difficulty. Oh, good synchro. A very good job in the synchronization. Unfortunately, they land too far over the vertical perfection. We saw Ben doing a better job. The Jardine just pulls too far. But still, the synchro was amazing. Seven, six and a half. They probably... I got to say they could have gotten, a, I'd say, five, six points more in this particular dive. and um, But they are in fifth at the, at the moment, fifth place for Team Great Britain. We are done with uh, three dives out of six. Ukraine is leading. Germany and Italy is second and third. And very close behind Italy, there's Spain. And then the rest, Great Britain, France, Norway, Greece, and Armenia. Team Italy ready up on the 10-meter platform with Sara Jodo in Di Maria, Canadian-born diver with the dives for Italy since 2019. Uh, she is ready to perform her back arms and double somersault one and a half twist. It is important for platform divers to show a good arm stand, stop it perfectly vertical, show that they can control it, and then now a good push off the platform. And she does a great job off the platform, a very strong push with her arms. Unfortunately for her, it doesn't square that come out from the twist and lands a little bit too far over. I've seen her do this dive uh, better, but we got to say six and a half from the judges is still a good score for her. Now, Edward Timbretti Guju, the diver from Turin, coached by Claudio Leone, is going to perform a front three and a half somersault pike. This is the only dive that Team Italy change compared to last year in Rome uh, they had 
Andreas Larsen performing the front four and a half summers. So they lost a, a little bit of DD changing this dive. But let's see if we can get a great score anyways. Good. Perfect entry for Edward. Very good dive. I'm going to say that eights are coming for Team Italy from the judges. Good top. Nice pike position. And I gotta say, perfect entry for Edward. Eight, eight and a half. But eight, the eights are the ones that count. 72 total points for Edward Timbretti. Puts Italy at 323 points. Individual dives now for Team Norway up on 10 meter pl on the 10 meter platform. And Letuxen. The Norwegian diver that dives in the United States at Louisiana State University. Back two and a half summers up. Pike, vertical and uh, okay dive overall. I, I just uh, she leans too far back while she's pressing on her squat here and ends up quite too far from the platform. Not the cleanest of the entries. So five and a half sixes. From the judges, 47.85 points. Not spectacular, but an average job for her. Can't complain with what she did. Isaac Borslane, Ella's teammate, is showing us a back arms and double somersault, one and a half twist. Same dive as Sara Jordan Di Maria. And uh, Isaac, let's see, he's, uh, we can see how he pulls up for the arms in, in, a, in, a different, in a tuck position, different than the, the Italian diver we saw before, who had split, arm, uh, split legs. Let's see the push of the platform. And uh, similar to Sara Jolini Di Maria, good uh, push of the platform. But let's the Norwegian diver lets the dive fall over. I gotta say, uh, Sara was a little bit cleaner. We can compare the two dives, but both end up over. Uh, sevens for Isaac. Good job, 67.20. It's uh, it's good to sometimes see same dives back to back on the platforms, so we can compare them and. Uh, we can uh, we can uh, compare the two dives and see what the difference were. Now we have a Spanish diver Valeria on the platform doing a back two and a half somersault pike, same as Ella did it before. Nice, great job by the Spanish diver. Very tall in the push, good rotation, nice pike position. But I gotta say the best part of this dive is the entry perfectly vertical and very very clean eights and sevens from the judges i gotta say the judges uh, there's a little disagreement there eights from judge two and three and judge seven gives us six and a half but the ones that count are sevens and seven and a half 62.35 points puts team spain in third place at the moment with 248 total. And we have uh, still have Carlos Camacho who has to perform his uh, back, ar uh, back arm stand. Another arm stand. Pulls up the armstand in a pike position. So three different armstand, three different ways of getting up on the armstand for the three divers. Now Carlos, let's see how he does. Good top, good top, and a good entry as well. He compared to the other armstand we saw before, he uh, ends up being a tiny short in uh, and not completely vertical in the entry. Splashes a little bit too much. 
but overall was a was a good dive. Uh, probably six and a half for him, I'd say. Yeah, yes, exactly. Judges award him a total of sixty-two point forty points. Six and a half from the judges. Could have done better in the entry. Can't complain with that takeoff for sure. Spain is in third now. Well, excuse me. Spain is in uh, second behind Italy now. And uh, we already have Xenia Bail back two and a half summers of one and a half twist. 3.2 degree of difficulty for the Ukrainian diver who's leading after the first three dives. Good job. Very good entry. Overall, a great dive. Pushes it very well off the platform. Gets a perfect somersault and twist. Squeezes that pike position. And great lineup for the diver from Ukraine. 72 points. Seven and a half from uh, the judges. And uh, her teammate, Oleksi Sereda. Back Armsen again. Another back Armsen double somersault. But this time around, the Ukrainian wonder kid is showing us a two and a half twisters. The previous Armsens we've seen only had a, well, only had one and a half twist. He's adding an extra one, taking the degree of difficulty to 3.6. Remind you, I remind you that the degree of difficulty is multiplied by the average uh, judging score. Amazing dive. Amazing dive by Oleksi Sereda. I, I'm going to see nines, nine and a halves coming. I hope so at least. That is nearly perfect. From my from my from my opinion, eight and a half, perfect entry. Only one nine from Judge Seven, so eight and a half count for the total score of ninety-one point eighty points. Amazing job by Oleksi. Aliza Zakarian, another dive for Armenian young, the Armenian young diver. She's doing a back two and a half somersault pike, 2.9 degree of difficulty. Armenia was, uh, the Armenian team was uh, last in the standings with 89.50 points after the first three dives. Let's see what she can do. Okay. An okay dive for uh, Aliza. Uh, doesn't come out of the second somersault very fast. And so this uh, makes the dive go over, over the vertical point. Fives from the judges, four and a half, five, 42 points for her. Vladimir now back. Armston. Double summers of one and a half. Twist again. We will see every single um, team performing the arm stand in, in this uh, round. In one of the two individual dives on platform. But main, mainly because it's mandatory to have all six group of dives. So also the arm stand. And uh, another reason is because you, they could compete it in syn in the synchro in the last round in the mixed synchro. But it's very hard to have a perfect synchronization starting from your hands uh, in a dive. So all teams have uh, either this dive that we just saw or the dive we saw by Oleksi Sereda. So the same dive but with an extra twist. Oh, I'm double checking that. Actually, Greece is doing the later on. Uh, now, actually, is uh, this next round uh, is doing the front arms. But Team Armenia with a 52.80 points by Vladimir gets a total of 
bouncing ahead of Team Greece, which did not dive in this round yet. Here they are. We have um, from Greece uh, Athanasios Tsirikos front armsen, double somersault full twist. The only front armsen we see today. Good job. Good job again. It's the third or fourth time we see someone coming out of the twist from platform and uh, keep going vert uh, over the vertical position. Uh, and I do not understand, but there is another problem with Team Greece. The judges awarded zero points, even though it did the, the right dive that was listed. And I do not see the coach asking for, for any clarification from the referee. I, the, it could be, but it's just uh, my idea that they didn't fill out the diving sheet very uh, correctly. And so they ended up getting a failed dive on 3 meter and a failed dive on 10. But that's just an option, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's keep going with the competition. We have uh, Stravula, Chamalu, back two and a half somersault, half twist on 10 meter. Good dive. We usually see divers perform uh, the same uh, twist, but with an extra twist. So usually it's one and a half twist, and this, in this case it's only half. Good job overall. Doesn't get a very clean entry. Uh, she's probably just a little bit too late grab her, grabbing her hands and again she did perform her dive correctly but another full dive for Greece next up Team France Jade uh, Gillet Reverse two and a half somersault tuck, 2.8 degree of difficulty, and way too short. The French diver doesn't push off the platform in enough to get all the two and a half somersault in 10 meters, and tries to squeeze that tuck position a little bit too far high. Also, tuck position up on the knees, and we see on the replay how short she is. Force. Four and a half, couple of fives from the judges, 39.2 points is uh, it's definitely too low for her. French diver, Alexis Jandar, who usually uh, performs uh, on three meter springboard, is showing us uh, back Armsen on platform. Let's see how he does with that. Former gymnast does a perfect, perfect job holding that arm stand. And a great dive. Great dive, just a bit short in the entry. But I gotta say, I'm impressed. Very good technical movements. See here, the push off the platform, nice twist. Could have done. A little bit better job lining it up, but sevens from the judges is very good. 67.20 points. And uh, Team Germany is up on the platform now. We have uh, Christina Wassen. Another Armstead. She waits a long time to push off the platform. Does a great job with it. Uh, similar to the French diver, uh, Alexis Jandar. She's probably going to get a uh, little less scores because the only, it was similar, but it was much lower. She, we can see from the replay how she kicks her legs way too low. Makes the dive fall a little bit faster. So five and a half sixes 
from the judges. 56 points for her. Timo Barco, back three and a half somersault tuck with this dive last year. He only, he only scored around 42 points, if I remember correctly. And that's the reason why Germany was uh, ended up being fifth. And um, let's see. They will for, he will for sure want to do a better job and make up. And good dive. Not as great as I saw him uh, earlier in practice. He did a fantastic job earlier. This time around, he goes a little bit over when kicking out of the third somersault we see it here a little bit too high and ends up over I gotta say uh 59 40 he lost a few points here better than last year but not as good as he did before team uh i mean timo yeah timo showed us in practice that back three and a half somersault i don't want to say for tens but nine and a half for sure unfortunately he didn't repeat himself robbie scott lee British diver, four four and a half somersault tuck, very hard dive, 3.7 degree of difficulty. Let's see how it goes. And does a great job, fantastic verticality, getting in the water. The push up the platform is fast enough and strong enough to get around four and a half times. Seeing the replay from. This camera, how he has enough room, getting vertical. The entry is uh, good enough. For judges, I'd say sevens are coming, seven and a half. Maybe, maybe they get excited in an eight. I don't know. Let's see. It. We gotta wait a little bit for the response from the judges. But with a 3.7 degree of difficulty, this dive is gonna have an overall score quite high and we'll uh, put oh failed dive zeros from the judges and I gotta say I got excited because it was a great dive but there's uh, I see coaches on deck uh, arguing but I and uh, we have, we have a little problem here. The screen shows Italian diver, the Italian synchro pair, and now they change it. We have Eden Cheng. Yeah, now they change the screen. We have Eden Cheng performing back. Double somersault, one and a half twist from the arm center. Eden uh, dives in uh, Los Angeles, California, at UCLA University with Tom Stebbing as a coach. And uh, does a good job with uh, with her dive, same as other divers previously. She lets the dive go over, but I can already tell you they showed a failed dive. So zeros from the judges, and uh, I guess with this problem, uh, Team Great Britain has to say bye to all the, all the hopes for a medal that's for sure now and um, we have uh, team ukraine in first italy in second spain in third germany fourth norway france armenia great britain and greece before the last round of dives back two and a half somersault one and a half twist for team italy who needs a uh, perfect dive if they want to try and get ahead of uh, Ukraine Team Italy is 41 points behind, they need perfection and then they will have to wait for Team Ukraine and uh, look for a mistake from them let's see how they do first Edward and Sara were third in the mixed synchro 10 meter event last year oh what a good dive from Team Italy they secured a medal I can tell you already great dive perfect synchronization by the Italians and great entries eight and seven and a half from the judges 75.20 points a total of 398.25 
they near they did uh, nearly as well as last year when they won with 402 399 398 25 very good we see team Italy all smiles all around great job and uh, we have already ready on the platform reverse two and a half somersault tuck for Ella Tuxen and Isaac Worsling Ooh, the synchro is very good up until the end of the dive they were perfectly together jumping and spinning but then Ele just comes out past the vertical we can see it here we can see it close to the camera kicks way too late too far high and goes over force from the judges and 33.60 points it's just 303 points for team Norway And Team Norway has no more chance of getting a medal. Team Spain now. Valeria and Carlos, they were looking after the previous rounds. They were in third, so they're looking to get a medal. Back two and a half summer, so one and a half twist. And they do an amazing job. Amazing job for the Spanish divers. Perfectly synchronized very similar to the Italians Valeria is uh, gets a great entry seven seven and a half from the judges 381.45 points for uh, team Spain at 381.45 yeah with the 70 points on the last dive amazing job for for them they are in second place at the moment and we have uh, the leaders so far, Team Ukraine. We have Bailo and Sereda from three and a half summers of Pike. Oh, yeah. They are getting their gold medal this year. Didn't get it last year, but just three points. And they will get it by much, much more this time around. Amazing eights from the judges. Perfect completion by Team Ukraine even a nine so eight and a half eight eight are the scores that count 73.50 on this dive and great job with 438.30 points we can already say we have a new Euro European champion team Ukraine team Armenia now another dive by Alisa and uh, Marat front three and a half summers of pike same dive as uh, team ukraine before them and uh, not as well executed we saw lisa struggling today unfortunately started off uh, the competition with a failed reverse two and a half somerset and ended up on the last dive way too short on this front three and a half summers of pike doesn't get enough speed in the rotation and uh, Unfortunately, they are also quite off uh, rhythm in the synchronization. Three and a half, four and a half for them. They close uh, their competition with a total of 215.85. Team Greece now. Chamelu and Sirikos. Reverse dive pipe. So this is a, this is a very easy dive. Just uh, half a rotation, 1.9 degree of difficulty. Most likely, they are they're very young, and I gotta say, uh, it's a good chance for them to make, gain some experience. They're performing a, a, a very easy dive, scoring seven, seven and a half, 40 points total. They probably don't have a, a complete list off of platform, but since you need all dives, uh, they decided to still be here and compete at an easier dive but be here and gain experience team france now on the platform alexi and uh, jade back to and a half somersault one and a half twi twist oh another great twist also by the french divers we have seen this dive perform in an excellent way 
by the three teams that showed it to, showed it to us so far. Eight from the judges, seven and a half are the ones that count. Seventy-two points, three hundred forty-one points, fourteen friends. Good job. So I gotta say, as of right now, top three teams are Ukraine, Italy, and Spain. And I gotta say that Team Germany, who is ready to dive now, has a chance to get all the way up to a place that would have to score 77 points more or less are uh, actually less 72 points let's see how they do with, with their inward three and a half somersault tuck oh nice dive i gotta be honest don't think they're gonna get up at 72 but it's gonna be close for the bronze medal between germany and spain let's see what the judges think sevens from the judges a total score of 70 points on this dive, 377, and puts Team Germany in fourth place. So Spain secured the bronze medal. Team Great Britain now up on the platform, finishing their competition with an inward three and a half somersault tuck. Eden Cheng and uh, um, and uh, Robbie Lee. Oh, great dive. Very well uh, synchronized. Uh, the only difference judges could see in this dive is how Eden comes out later than Robbie. Uh, Robbie was spinning extremely fast. He kicks up almost a complete somersault before his teammate. Sevens from the judges, 231.95 points. Unfortunately for Team Great Britain, they end up in seventh place this year round so we have we are done with the first competition of these uh, diving events at Euro Games 2023 the top three teams are Team Ukraine for 138.30 points Team Italy in second with 398.25 and Spain in third with 381.45 again this year unfortunately Team Germany ends up shy of the podium with 377 France 341.60 Norway in 6 303.80 seventh place for Great Britain 231.95 Armenia in eighth place 215.85 and last Team Greece 155.25 here we are ready from Sheshov Arena for the medal ceremony of the first diving event, mixed team event, three and ten meters final. The medals will be presented by Mr. Niels Nigard, former European Olympic Committee Vice President and coordinator of the commission. We see the victory, the winning teams getting on deck right now. And with Mr. Neil Nigard, Niels Nigard, uh, also Kristina Stachowska. Here they are presenting the medals and mascots. Coordination Commission Vice Chair. Mr. Niels Nigard. The mascots will be presented by Active President of Jejeun. Here we are ready. Bronze medalist. Bronze medalist of this first diving event. Team Spain with Valeria Antolino, Alberto Arevalo, Carlos Camacho, and Rocio Velasquez. With a total of 381.45 points, 
The divers all from Madrid, Spain, from the Real Canoe team in Madrid, coached by Domenico Rinaldi and Arturo Miranda. Did a great job and uh, got Spain back on the podium after a few years. Here they are. Congratulations to Team Spain. Second place from team for Team Italy. Lorenzo Marsaglia, Chiara Pellacani, Sara Gioden Di Maria and Edward Timbretti Guggiu. A total score of 398.25. After last year's gold medal, they get silver here in Sheshov, Poland in the same event. And now our champions, European champions, with a total score of 438.30 points. We have Team Ukraine, Senia Bailo, Danilo Konovalov, Oleksiy Sereda and Anna Pizmenska. Amazing job by the Ukrainians. They did nearly perfect they had a nearly perfect competition it was great watching them it was very everything very well executed and they definitely deserve this gold medal they were leading from the very first round of dives and kept on leading throughout the whole competition Great job.